reviewing the Virgin Mobile XTC phone. Um, it's the newest phone from Virgin Mobile. It just came out. It's $99, and um, it's pretty decent. All right, so um, it's a slider phone. It has a full keypad. The keypad's a little bit small. Like, if you can see, it's pretty tiny, but it's definitely decent. Um, the phone also takes pictures, 1.3 megapixel, and it has an MP3 player, and, um, what else? Yeah, the camera's on the back, right here. Um, basically you have your volume, your picture button. Um, there's a few buttons on the front. It's not a touch screen, though. So, but if you use it this way, when you open it, the screen switches, if you can see. Um, it's pretty decent. So... Yeah. The only thing I had a problem with, the battery cover is really hard to get off. Like, once you get it off and put it back on, you probably don't want to mess with it. Um, yeah, that was about the only thing. Um, the, the headphone jack for the MP3 player is 2.5 millimeters, um, and most are 3.5. Like, your normal headphone plug is going to be 3.5, so you need a converter. That's the only bad thing. Um, and you can put in a micro SD card, which is like, if you have a card you put in your camera that you put pictures on, you need to get a smaller one so it fits in the slot, and that's how you put the music on your phone. So you don't have to buy it directly from the website, you can just upload it on your card and put it in your phone. Um, pretty much, um, it's pretty easy to use. Um, let's see, menu, um, it comes with some ringtones, um, most things are programmed. Let's see, pictures, messaging, web, there's Facebook, MySpace, um, internet, you, um, your media player, your tools and settings, let's see, and, um, yeah, you can pretty much, um, turn on and off your ringtones, like when it, when you open it, you can make it play a noise or slide, I always have my phone on silence, or you can turn the volume up, down, or you can put it on vibrate, you know, just your basic features, um, yeah, it's pretty decent though. Um, the charge I found out. Okay, I leave my phone on 24 hours, so um, I turned off the Bluetooth feature because I don't use that, and I turned off um, a lot of the back saving, and it lasts for about two days, and then you have to charge it again if you have it on 24 hours. And like, this is including like I text a lot, and like I took like I took like five pictures, so just you're gonna have to keep charging it. Um, yeah, so this is definitely, um, a pretty decent phone, so if you have any questions, um, just ask.